Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Bruno Dinocenzo, and that's Enzo Gambacorta. Uh, Enzo and I met about uh, over 15 years ago now. That's right. Um, as I was said, saying from the beginning, uh, just a few seconds ago, uh, I'm from Italy. I'm an Italian born. I've been in this country now for 25 plus 25 years. I came here when I was 22. I'm a dental technician, uh, and I've been in dental technology uh, basically all my adult life. Uh, I have a master in dental technology that I acquired in school when uh, I was in school in Italy. Then I moved to this country, and I've been working in this field ever since. Uh, what we do as a dental technicians, to me, we have an important role in improving people's lives. So everything that we do as a dental technicians, you have to understand that you're always helping somebody because once somebody feels good about their smile, good about their appearance through their teeth, it really up, makes that person have a much better, uh, not, not have that person, so to speak, in a low self-esteem mode, but appreciate more about life because it's feel good about yourself. So what we do, it's, a, it's really unique. It's an art. Uh, I respect this as an art, not just a job. And it's a God-given talent. I believe in that very much so. And we are, we are helping people with it. And that's one of the greatest things and passion that we have. Um, I met Enzo, like I said, 15 years ago or so. And because through, through our work, and when I met him, I realized that he is Italian too, and we start talking. <laughs> and just to give you a little bit of the background is that when we were talking, I realized that he was born about 20 miles from where I come from. So it was like unbelievable from the same region and so on and so forth. So very unique. Um, so we became friends and right about when I was about to leave from his office, from his laboratory, which he had for almost 40 years, I saw this big prototype of this articulate. And I said, what is this? Uh, this is something that I have here on the shelf is an invention of mine, but I don't know. I said, let me see it. So I looked at, I looked at this prototype of an articulator. It was this big. And I said, my God, this is fantastic. This is really unique and what you can do with this. We got a pursuit to see how can we realize your dream come to pass because uh, I think it's something unique here for our industry. And so we kind of parked a little bit, a little, and, and he went back into the drawing board. And what we're gonna show you today is basically the, the, the product of him going back to the drawing board a few times and looking on what the challenges were and little by little, from a something this big, became this big, this big, and now it's this big. But fully functional articulator, fully, like completely plasterless. When we say plasterless, is that once you have the model, you never go back to use uh, stone or plaster. What stone you do? No, you never go back to use stone or plaster to put it together into an articulator to articulate because completely free from plaster, and you're gonna see that today. So with any further ado, I am going to show you this morning what this articulator is all about. Are you with me? Yeah, here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you, okay. <laughs> Where are they gonna so, go? So I am gonna focus the attention now on our table. Okay. All right? Okay, uh, you can see you can see my my hands. Sure. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So this is the baby right here. This is the articulator. Everybody can see. We have yes. in different colors: gold color, yes. purple color. Right? No plaster. We have it black. We have a blue, okay? We have it also silver. Okay, these are the 
the one, two, three, four, five colors that we have right now. Um, and what you see here, these are plastic sleeves. This is what we call that it's needed for every models. And these plastic sleeves basically are consumables, if you will. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Yes. And yes. We call it a plastic sleeve and I'll show you in a moment why. Okay. So let's start right now. So if we have a, um, if we have a model that we want to articulate, we take the model, the first thing we do, it's basically simply glue the plastic sleeve, simply glue this plastic sleeve with a little bit of, with crazy a little glue. bit crazy glue or fast glue on the model. As you can see, we already done that. We already put the plastic sleeve on the model, right? You can see that. When we are ready to articulate, everybody's tuned in. Everybody can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can see. So, yeah. okay. No, yes, I'm yes, we can see. All right. So we go ahead now, and we just put place. Make sure that the screws are all out. No, no interference. Yes, yes. No interference from, uh, from the from the arm. We go ahead. We take the articulator, and we just put it into the sleeve. See, the model went into the sleeve. That's the upper. Now we use the same thing and we do it for the lower. We already glued the, um, we already glued the plastic sleeve into it. Now we go ahead and we put it into the lower arm. Now, as you can see, this is not its own articulator, but we have to articulate because there is no articulation here, right? We secure, we secure, we are securing the models by tightening up the screw that holds the model into the arm, okay? And we go ahead and we do the same thing with this screw on the, on the upper. Now we have, very important, I wanna show you, we have what I call four point screw. Hello. What I call four point screw. And this is what I mean by that. We have the the locking the locking screw for the arm, the, the top assembly that we have to that we have to lose right here, and we loosen it. We have the lower we have the lower screw for the lower assembly that we have to lose, right? And then we have the vertical screws. We have one here vertical, and we have one here vertical so these screws we're gonna have to lose because now we're gonna find the position once we've loosened all the screws we have a perfect movement of our models the articulator is still there attached to the models but everything swivels around as you can see you see wow. everything swivels around no plaster we haven't used any plaster now we just go ahead and put the bite together, okay? Just to show you, this is a perfect model. We put in the bite together, and it's really there, nicely held together, right? But it's still mm -hmm. everything yes. moving. Everything yeah. moving. So now, yes, yes, yes. the four screws, the four screws, or the four point screws that are the main important screws, have to be tightened to keep everything assembled like if it was a articulator done with plaster. So one of the things that I want to show you guys is also here that we have a vertical stop for when you have a dentulous area in your models with no teeth, like dentures, like for dentures models. Yes. So this is our vertical stop right here that is set by this screw. So one thing that we do is we lower that to touch that screw so that we have the stop if there was identicalist area, okay? So now we go and lock the top arm of the articulator. We just lock the top arm of the articulator. Then we lock the bottom screw of the bottom arm of the, just by, just tightening, finger pressure, 
finger pressure only. You don't need, you don't need to overdo it. You don't need to strengthen like, oh, I gotta make sure this is tight. No, finger pressure, only finger pressure, because the mechanism locks the ball joint perfectly. Then we also lock the vertical screws on the right, and we lock the vertical screw on the left, right here, this one here, and we're gonna lock it, right? Now, all those four screws, which are the main screws of the two vertical uh, screws right here, and the locking arm screws for the upper assembly for the upper model and the lower assembly for the lower model are locked, we have a perfect articulation. Not, nothing, wow. nothing is moving around. I'm strengthening, trying to show you if we can move this thing. It doesn't move. Perfect articulation. Mm -hmm. Can you see oh. that? Okay. Right? Yes, yes, so yes. Now, if the bite was wrong, if I look and I see that the bite was not right, what do I do? I only lose, a, remember, I only use finger pressure. I lose yes. the arm, right? See that? It's loose again, right? I go manually, I look at the bite, I re articulate it in two seconds. Okay. It's been rearticulated in two seconds, right? You saw that. If I had, if the bite was wrong, and I gotta go rearticulate something, I gotta break the plaster off. I gotta go into my wax bench, reposition mm -hmm. the model with the wax, mm -hmm. then go back to the plaster, mix water and mm -hmm. plaster again. And rearticulate and mm. wait another hour. This one, two seconds. Two oh. seconds. That's awesome. one. That's very, very good. That's one. Very now I'm going to show you the triple trays. I'm sure, I don't know, in Africa, here, and in, where I have been, we have triple trays models. Very popular. As you can see. I don't know if a dentist in Africa are using this type of things, but they're very popular here in the Western world, in yes. Europe, yes. America, mm -hmm. and other countries. But these are triple tray models, very small models, okay? Now, I have to do the same thing. I have to articulate this, right? Mm -hmm. I have the upper. I have glued my, I have glued my sleeve, as you can see, into the model, yes. right? Now, I'm going and look, See, this is, this is the screw that keeps the model in place, right? So I'm gonna lose this screw. And by the way, all the screws are made that you can, that you can untighten them, but none, not, none of the screws will ever come off of the articulator. Unless you force them. They will not come off. So you will never lose them, okay? They're made purposely this way that you can put them in, but you cannot take them out, okay? So that you don't lose any of the screws, uh, which is a very important point. Now, I'm ready to articulate. I have my model, and I do the same thing. And I tie the screw that keeps the, 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 the model from falling. It's not, it's not coming up, okay? I do the same thing with the bottom, the lower mandibular. I lose the screw here. Right, then I am going to put it into place and I'm tying it up so that the model doesn't come out. Now, okay. as you can see, I have to articulate. Okay, at this point, I take my bite, I take my bite, and I put it in place. <laughs> I put it in place, right? but still doesn't fit, okay? Now I'm losing the four point screw that I talked to you about before. I lose the yeah. assembly of the uh, upper model uh, um, uh, arm. I lose the lower model arm. I lose the vertical point on the left and the right, right? And now everything moves just like the other one. The articulator yeah. is here, right? But everything moves. Yeah. It's like if I have no articulator in my hands. The articulator is only attached 
It's like if it's not in my hand. Now I'm taking yes. the models only. I'm taking the models only, and I'm going and I'm just putting it into the bite that I had right here. You see the bite, the triple tray, mm -hmm. okay, with the impression bite, right? I have the bite. Mm -hmm. I still have the vertical point for vertical, right? I close that down. I close that down. I close the the, the vertical um, of the uh, articulator, and then I lock. I lock the yeah. topper assembly of the up model, mm -hmm. and I lock the lower assembly of the lower model. Just by finger pressure, right? And my friends, it is articulated in a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. Also, wonderful. It's articulated in a couple seconds. Okay, well, that's this is the time to show them that you could re-articulate. I was going to tell uh, now the same thing. If if a bite is a little bit iffy, if I don't see it correctly, because sometimes these bites. They're like little springy. They're like, mm. you know, yeah. they're like gum. They're yeah. kind of little springy, right? Yeah. So I go, mm. I lose it again, little touch. Yeah. I look at it. Yeah. Now it's closed perfectly lingually. Mm. And then I go and rearticulate by finger pressure. Just finger pressure. That's it. Done. Wow. This is a perfect tool especially for educational purposes. But not only that, for educational purposes, it's also perfect because you working, always checking, always controlling that if there is any, um, how can I say, if there is any uh, thing that has been missed in the articulation, Anybody down the line, when they're doing their work, they can check and fix it by simply loose and tight, loose and retight by adjusting it very easily. Okay? Yes. So, um, this, is a, this is a great benefit. Um, and um, I want to ask you guys if you have any specific questions or concerns at this point before we move forward because I have other things that I want to show you. Any questions so far? Uh, well, from my head, I'm quite satisfied with what you said so far. I've seen you overcome several limitations of um, the previous articulators you've been using. Um, I I'm sorry, I can't, I can't uh, understand if you can talk maybe a little slower and be a little bit more clear because I can't hear. The microphone is not very clear. Okay, okay. What I was saying was that um, I think so far I've been able to learn a lot from what you've said. I've seen several um, things that you've explained, which is um, a way forward. And of course, I've been able to overcome the several implications of the other articulators that we've been making use of here in Nigeria. And I think I, I, I'm with the class. I'm getting the point. So you can always move on. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Another great thing that we have, um, and we're going to move along through all the different application over here in the United States and in Europe and in other places that we've been, um, we can see that um, dental scanners, tabletop scanners like uh, Tree Shape. You guys have those in Nigeria? You said? the dental scanner that they scan the models you guys use those in nigeria for uh, like a three shape scanner yeah we are yeah, familiar with that right and this basically is a uh, scanning plate scanning okay. plate okay and basically yeah. basically you can take any model and in this case we have an intraoral scanner model this is an intraoral scanner model or a digital model, we call it. We simply glue the plastic sleeve. We simply glue the plastic sleeve on the model, as you can see. And Enzo created a uh, plate for a tree shape or any type of scanner that you have the 
male of the arm of the articulator. This is the male of the arm of the articulator that you simply mm -hmm. slip in into place. And you put mm -hmm. the scanning plate into the scanner and the scanner scans the model. Okay, okay, okay. So once, okay. because if every models have, mm. have the... No, 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 uh, what, 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 why do we... What was that? Go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, what, 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 what? yeah, what, what, what do we need the plate in this case? This, the uh, plate, the, the plate goes inside, yeah, it, goes inside the scanner. The scanner is a device, is a device like tree shape, exocad, and different types to do digital design for dental work. Okay. That's what this is. Okay. You can, can I tell okay. you? Okay. I got okay. it. So if every models that you use in your laboratory have the sleeve, the plastic sleeve that fits into the mail, if every models have that, you can scan all your work like this, take, take the model, because one of the benefits of the articulator is, once it's articulated, once I have everything articulated, one of the benefits, you, you have to know this, one of the benefits, once I have everything articulated and nothing is moving, perfectly located the way I want it. But I want to work, I want to work with the model without holding the articulator all the time. All you got to do is lose this screw on the top, lose this screw on the top, take it off, and I work. And I work build the porcelain, I work doing wax, I work doing whatever, or if I have to scan the model, I take it off the arm, and I put it in the plate of the scanner, go into the scanner, I scan the model, I take it off, and if I have to go back to the to the articulator, no problem. I go back to the articulator, put it back, lock it in, bite, never lost. It's always there. Okay? These are the benefits. Yeah. If I have a model with plaster, I can never do what I just did. I can never do that. This way, I can remove it anytime I want. I work, I go into the into the scanning plate or whatever I have to do. I go back into the articulator anytime I want. And bite will always be there, whether if I remove the upper or whether if I remove the lower. Same thing, I scan the upper, now I'm scanned, I go into the scanning plate and I scan the lower. I put it into the machine, the machine scans, I take it out, go back into the articulator. Boom, no problem. I lock it back in, bite always there. Never changes. Never changes. Any Very questions? Versatile. Very versatile. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I think the question I have now is about the scanning plate. If I may understand you well, what you said was that in the case of digital models now, there is, there's a possibility of attaching it to this end articulator and then having it scanned and then getting it reciprocated on the system virtually now. And so you can always fill out your appliance, um, probably design it on the system, and thereafter you stand there, of course, and then well, actually, of course, well articulated on the uh, this thing, articulator, and then you design your appliance now on the system and then mill out. Is that what you just explained? It, it, for, for to do the milling work, for when you go to the milling machine? Yeah, the question is about this um, digital model you talked about that you attach it to the scanning plate. That's the yeah. scanning plate in front of you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you attach the digital model to that scanning plate yeah. and then to the articulator. So if you must um, scan the um, bike registration, Let me you, see. Have to, you have to. Are you getting my point? Uh, yeah, yeah. The part that he didn't show you is an articulated model. To, to, uh, you want to put two models in the uh, in the chamber of the three shape. To yes. do that, you have what well, we. This is kind of unique. Uh, you guys, they could see this, right? Yes. Yes. This is kind of unique. 
Uh, you articulate the model the way Bruno showed you completely. Once it's articulated and you know that you're, you're absolutely 100% in position, what I do is I take a, a glue gun and I tack it. So this, and after I tack it and it dries, I loosen this up okay. and gently it slides right out. Now you have the two models articulated. Put it, put it in a, 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 plate. And a, a plate, and it go in a scanning plate, and it goes right into the chamber. Now you scan the two models together, and, and, and no other articulator could do that, especially sliding the two models out. So this is absolutely perfect. So once you've done that, then you break it apart, you put it back in the articulator, and you continue with your work. Okay, okay, and, okay. And this fits perfect on a three shape. Now, if you happen to have other systems, other systems uh, especially if uh, some a system that has clamps, well, you could easily clamp this and still go into that chamber. Same thing. It, and also, you could use. I think a lot of these uh, scanners they have a uh, like a putty that you put models on. Well, you could do the same thing. You could take the putty and you and you could put the, you could put this right on top of the putty, and and it goes right into the chamber. So it's kind of universal. This little plate here works pretty well, and. Uh, but this part is extremely unique because when they came out with these uh, uh, scanners to put the two models together, what they did is they used, again, a bite, a putty, and they put rubber band around it. So it was never, ever accurate. This is as accurate as you articulate. So if you articulate it correctly, you pull it out and you scan it, and that's perfect. Oh, great, 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 great. Yeah, so that solves a big problem. That solves a big problem. So it's just good to just register the bike and then keep it in the chamber. Yeah, you don't lose the registration. You never, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't lose the registration of the bike. Mr. Enzo? Yes, sir. Okay, I think uh, it's so clear, it's very explicit that uh, this articulator is very versatile and uh, the, the technician has freedom to do a lot of works, to go in and out of the articulator every time. Uh, this makes it very unique and makes it very different from others. So far, I've really understood and enjoyed what you're saying and I, I hope uh, you go further and uh, tell us more about this articulator. What is it? I hope, I'm sorry, what, we, we didn't catch your final sentence. He wants you to tell, he, he wants to focus more on the articulator. Are you talking about now or in the future? At least for me. No. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe, what I said is that. I, I, you're, you're breaking up. Uh, radio is gone. Can you hear me? You go ahead with the lectures that he got what you were explaining perfectly well. Okay. He was, he was asking you to go ahead with the lecture that it's quite explicit. So he wants us to continue yeah. with whatever else we want to show them. All right. Okay. Yes, I want, yes, I want you to continue, yeah. All right, okay. Okay. You were. So, um, Dentures. I mean, at this point, you want to talk about dentures? I could do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, the articulator is so versatile that uses any. It, you could use any model systems. I don't know what model system you uh, uh, you guys use, but no matter what, this is a 3M model system. All you anything that you could glue this plastic sleeve, you're able to to articulate it together. No matter what the system is, this happened to be another system. You glue this on and you get it and you articulate it. So it's, the articulator is so versatile that uh, you could do anything. You're never locked in because there's no plaster. So if you want to work off of the articulator, it's simple. You work and you put it back. You never, you, you never lose it. You never lose. It's always going to be the same. And uh, uh, the triple trace uh, is, is amazing. I, I have one case here. Uh, I got to find it. Uh, this one here, just for, for argument's sake. I did this intentionally where all the models are, are entirely crooked, you know, so, but you could articulate it no matter what the position of the models are. So that's, that's how the, uh, unique the articulator is. Now, is, uh, do we have this one here? 
Yeah. Uh, this one here? Yeah, digital models. But Same thing. But anyway. Okay. Was that drop on? Um, I don't think you burned it. I did, I did, oh, I did. Okay. Now, because we're in a digital age, all the models, they make, they, they are printed or milled, and they're printed or milled very small. So now, my articulator is not used to it. So what we did is we came up with this little device. It's like a, a, we, a dropped arm. Now, and what we do is we loosen up this, we take this off. It's really, really quick. And we just change the arm, take this one out, and we put this one in. That's how quick it is to, if you want to change something. Now you have a small dropped arm. Now we could articulate, where is it? These guys here. Again, the process is always the same. You put in the model, you loosen up the, uh, the top and lower assembly. That never changes. That's all you always do. Now you loosen up the, uh, the vertical the top and lower assembly. And again, you have total mobility. You put the models in position like so. And now because of the dropped arm, we're able to do that. Before, there's no way that this arm would come down far enough because the arm was straight from here. Now, loosen, tighten everything up and you got it, and you got it articulated. It's really, really simple. I'm, do, I'm working kind of fast and a little sloppy, but you get the idea. And again, you don't have to work on the articulator. You could just pull it out, put it back in the same position, 100%. If, if the bite is happened to be off, again, like Bruno said, you loosen up the top assembly, wiggle a little bit in position, and retighten it, and you got to re-articulate it. It's really, really simple. Also, it's extremely light. These weigh nine ounces. It's really comfortable in the technician's hands. It's not like using a fully adjustable articulator like this, where if you're gonna work with this all day long, you're gonna lose your arm. So, anyway. Yeah, I wanna show them this difference, but that's very, 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 very important. As technician, as technicians, you know the accuracy, it's important. The detail, it's important. The excursions, and I'm gonna show you the next thing that I want to show you is excursions, protrusions, all these movements that are important to reflect the human jaw, the human mouth, okay? So these things are important. Now look, look at this articulator, how complex, and it really, really heavy. I mean, it's heavy. Look how much stone, look, how, I mean, it's huge, okay? Now look at the difference. Look at the difference side by side, okay? I want to show them. Which hold on. Which which one would you prefer to work with? <clears throat> which one if you could have a choice, which one would you would like to work with? Okay? But not only that, I mean it is um, uh, the point that I wanted to make before was that it is extremely light and um, easy to work with. Easy to work with. Nothing to it. So Oh, the excursions. I want to show you the excursions, the lateral movements, okay? The protrusion of when you do something to reflect the canine level of excursions, right? You, you're familiar with this. Of course, yeah. So, um, as technicians, all I do is lose the top screws of the articulator, one and two. I make sure they're loose so that I have, so that I have perfect movement. Do you see the excursions? Do you see that? Okay. Protrusions. Same thing. Do you see that? The, the, the movement. And, and the canine. The canine correlation. Protrusions. Excursion. You can do any movement with the same, the same, that, the same thing that you would do with the articulation. What's that? Uh, no, I'm saying that someone who's playing the music in the background, if they could shut the microphone off, that would be helpful. Oh. 
I'm going to show you. I, I'm going to continue a little bit on, on the uh, the difference uh, of what you could do with our articulator, on uh, what I do not to use this fully adjustable articulator all of the time. What I do is take the bike. I duplicated the models. I duplicated these models, and here they are right here. I use my articulator. Now, what this is kind of unique. Put it in place. Put the lower in place. Now, articulate this one. You see me. Here we go. Now articulate it. Yeah. After it's articulated, you do your sound. For demonstration purpose, I have another one set up already. Oops. Here's the setup that I did. I mean, I use this for demonstration wherever I go. So it's kind of, here's a setup. Let me make sure it goes. And it goes into place. It's, it's a, a setup. Now I'm going to transfer this to the uh, fully adjustable articulator. The, the point I'm going to try to make here is that you don't need to work on a fully adjustable. You could duplicate those models, work it on, on, a, on my articulator, transfer it back to uh, your, fu your fully adjustable articulator and you could do your final adjustment on this if you got to tweak it for any reason because this is fully adjustable, it's set up at a certain degrees and so on, so you could make your final adjustment on, on now. But all of the work, all the major work is done on this guy, which is definitely a time saver number one, and it's more comfortable on your hand. It's easy, when you're working on this, it's easy to take this out and finish up your wax up, whatever you gotta do. When you're setting up teeth, you have a full view back here that you can move the teeth from the lingual. So it's got so many benefits, it's really uh, unbelievable. Because you're not locked in, this is a little giant. It, it starts off to be a small articulator, but you could open it up to articulate anything, any any size mount. So it has so many features. I mean, it's uh, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, and this uh, and as you go along, you'll find yourself that you could do other things that that normally that's uh, I didn't think about. One of the one of the things that uh, one of my doctors, he has a few articulators in his office, and he found uh, a way of adjusting. Uh, a finished denture, instead of adjusting it in the mouth, what he did is uh, he took the denture and uh, took a bite, the patient's bite, took some lab putty, put it inside here, took uh, the uh, plastic sleeve, glued it onto the lab putty, and did the same thing to the bottom, articulated while the patient is still in the chair. Now, instead of bothering the, the patient going in and out to make adjustment, he did all the adjustment right then and there within a few minutes, polished it up, and delivered the case. And the patient didn't even know what was going on. So that's kind of unique. For a dentist, that's awesome. The, the, other, the other thing for the dentist also, if a case is going with, with our articulator and he has one of my articulator in his office, he could try to set up in the mouth. Uh, he finds it that the bite is off. He could take a bite. He could check it himself because it's so easy to articulate. Once he finds it, that okay, the patient bit wrong. So now he goes back in the mouth and checks it again, takes another bite. He says, okay, this is correct. Now he could absolutely send the case back to the lab, say with confidence, say, okay, articulate this case and uh, process it and, and it'll be fine. The other way, you're taking a chance because if you didn't, if you didn't take that extra step, he would send that case back to the lab reset it and possibly try it in again and you, and he's losing valuable time chair time so the articulator helps you in so many directions it's it's unbelievable and that's another nice feature 
for a dentist to have in the office. Now, another beautiful feature for the dentist to have it in the office, it would be is for demonstrating to a patient uh, future work or whatever work they've got to do because this is kind of good looking, so it's easy to present. And not only that is, all he's got to do is pour models and glue uh, the plastic instead of going through all the process of articulating with plaster. So he, if he has to do a demonstration, he could do that within five minutes, he's got the whole thing done, set uh, on the articulator. So it's a time saver and uh, for the dentist, it's a time saver for the lab, and uh, it's an education piece. It has multiple, multiple uses. Uh, it's uh, like, like we call it, it's universal. We are, it is, it is. It's universal, it's unlimited what you could do. I mean, it's an articulate, it's not a car, so you know, you could only do so much. But nevertheless, uh, I think it's unique enough that I don't think there is another articulate like this on the market. I've never seen anything like this. Not because I invented it, uh, it just happened to work out. The, the evolution of the articulate it took me to this area. And uh, now there's no more changes. This is it. Uh, and this, Absolutely. Uh, that, that's, it's light, it's compact, it's easy to work. Uh, the person that's using it, the technician that's using it, uh, they could he uh, hold it in their hands all day long. It doesn't have the weight of uh, the, the, the traditional uh, articulator with the plaster. So, uh, and because you're able to move, pull out the models at will and put it back, so you don't have to work on the articulator all of the time, and that makes it also a lot easier. And the other part is, which is very, very unique, is that when, uh, uh, well, I use my, my, my laboratory. Uh, my, the, 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 the preparatory person that does all of the models and articulation, uh, when he did it, it would be on, uh, before, the, before this articulator, it would be on a hinge articulator or whichever articulator we're going to use, and it's set in stone, period. No movement. So if there is something wrong, if it's minor, the technician, 9 out of 10, is not going to really be bothered with, and it's not going to send it back. And so he continues to do the case, even though it may end up being wrong. If it's major, there's no choice. He sends it back. Now, just the way I'm, way, for what I'm saying is this, look at all the time we are wasting on that. So now, by using my articulator, my technician that does all the plaster work, he doesn't have to put, uh, he doesn't have to articulate it. So what he does is he pours the models, and just puts the uh, plastic sleeves on it, and that's it, and he sends it into the lab. The technician that's gonna be working on it articulates it himself. Now, here's the, the wonderful part about this, is because now he gets educated. Before, he didn't know any of this. He just gets the, gets the model, said, does whatever he's gotta do, uh, waxes up the coping, whatever, whether it's right or wrong, they don't pay much attention to that. Now they pay attention because they articulated themselves and they could see if it's right, right or wrong. And if it isn't, even if he, he, can, he gets confused, he could go to another technician. They'll just say, what do you think about this? So you, by the time, if you take an interest, by the time you are finished with the articulating and changing and so on and so forth, the ultimate, when the case is finished, I think it's pretty close to, to just where you want it. Right. And now what happens there is when it's delivered, the doctor is the one who's going to save the most because he's going to have less chair time yep. uh, to, 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 to uh, adjust the crown and so on. That in turn says, okay, that lab is pretty damn good. We're going to stick with them. That's not bad. That's good. That's not bad. Ah, I need a drink of water. <laughs> it's necessary. Guys, this is uh, truly not only a friend, but he's really an amazing inventor. Oh, he really is. Not because he's here; he doesn't deserve what I say. <laughs> but uh, he's a, he's a, he's a, he really does a great, and that's his baby. That's his passion. Well, whatever we're missing here today, you guys could go on my website, and there is a a, a bunch of educational uh, videos that will definitely guide you and help you. It'll probably do a much better job than what we're doing over here. But this will definitely give you a start of fundamentals of what the articulator is all about. And again, it's an articulator. I make it sound like it's a, I make it sound like it's a damn machine, but it's not. But this is unique enough. But look how, how beautiful it is. It's, what is it? Oh, Jesus no, Christ. No, no, no. I, I lowered it. 
he, he pushed the camera up again. Yeah, but look how beautiful it is. A small little articulator that does so much. It's unbelievable. But anyway, I don't know how much more we could do and uh, I'll talk about the, I mean, I, I guess you could say a few more things, but I think you got the idea. But one of the beautiful part is, and when I showed you, when I showed you the demonstration on not working on an articulator like this, where you could duplicate the model and put in and use my uh, articulator to do the bulk of the work. That, that's really unique. That's really unique because it does go back almost 100%, but it's 100%. But you could just tweak it, you know, to the areas that you, you uh, need it, but all of the work is done on an on, on articulator that is very comfortable in your hand. But if you got to work with this all day long, it's got to affect you. I mean, it, it, it's, it's really difficult. Yeah. But anyway. Any questions, guys? If you guys have any questions, we'd be uh, happy to answer them. And if you don't, uh, oh, you should. Sure. What's that? Alufemi wants to say something, but the microphone is off. Oh, okay. Alufemi, where are you? Yeah, let me type it. Let me get the message to him. Yeah, there's a question from my head. There you go. I have some questions. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Can I hear you now? Okay. Uh, this is... Uh, not a joke, it is fantastic. I, I, I was able to pick a lot of things from what you have said. Uh, the sleeve, fantastic. Plus, is good. Uh, lightweight, good. All the movements of the jaw. Uh, it's also possible with uh, ISO uh, articulator. Uh, when, when you are moving all the past the other time, it was so exciting. I haven't seen an articulator all my practice about 30 years now, that I could make all, all the movements, even beyond the movement that is possible uh, with a patient. It's possible now with, with any... I, I see that. But there's one thing that I want to uh, add here, and very important, is that, is it possible to use, um, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Please, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, I want to find out if it is possible uh, to use uh, Facebook with uh, s articulator. Not the traditional uh, Facebook. No. Okay, not the traditional Facebook. The only, because the articulator is too small. The only Facebook. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The only Facebook that uh, uh, that it works with, and uh, I don't know if you are familiar with Koi's. Uh, he's a dentist that uh, invented this little device. It's a face okay. ball that uh, would allow for us, for us, it's a face ball that will uh, uh, articulate, uh, well, once the, the, uh, the, the, the dentist takes his bite, this is, let me, the, the dentist would put this in the mouth, the bite. He takes the bite, he measures, uh, or he looks at the patient, he checks for the vertical and horizontal. Make sure that everything is straight and I, I, according to what he did. Then he gives it to me. I have a face ball also. So I take the bite and I snap it into my face ball. So to articulate with this face ball, now I don't know how, how popular this is uh, because the traditional face ball is entirely uh, different than this. But this, according to, 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 to Dr. Coy's, and some of the dentists that do use it, they say that it works really well. So if it does work, we're able to articulate exactly the vertical and the uh, horizontal of what the dentist did in the mouth. By putting, okay, by, and, and I'm gonna demonstrate it to you how it works. Let's see what you, let me articulate. You open up, okay. you articulate it, and open it up all the way, so it gives you a little bit of movement. You set, you set the, the articulator on a flat surface and basically somewhat straight, and then lock it in place. Put in your model. Okay. Let's see if you can see. I don't need to look. You see that? Yeah. Okay. 
Now take your face bone and the bite, put it in position. Once you have it in position, always make sure that the vertical stop is absolutely touching the uh, top assembly. That's one time that he cannot move. Now, in order for me to, to duplicate what, he, what the doctor did in the mouth, I have to know something about the horizontal and, uh, uh, and the vertical. What I did is I came up with a little device. Well, I didn't come up with it. Uh, I bought it on Amazon. It's a little bubble. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, bubble. The level. Uh, a bubble level. So what I do is I look on the bubble level. When the bubble is in the center, that tells me that it is absolutely perfect horizontally. And I'll, I'll, I'll do it. No, show them the bubble. Well, okay. You see the bubble there? No, no. Uh, 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 uh. Let me do it. There we go. 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 Right, there. right there. Right there. Yeah. That's a level. Yeah, it's That's a little level. Just like a, a, a mason level the way, yeah. when he does the exactly. construction. Exactly. So now what I do is, once I have this in place, I loosen this up. Now we got mobility. See? Now I'm looking for that bubble to be right in the center. Holding everything in place. Make sure that vertical stop is in, is in position. Find the 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 the, the, uh, the level the bubble to be right in the center. Oops. And, oh, sorry about that. And lock and lock it up. And if that bubble is in the center, which it is, now you just articulated uh, the coy's face bone. Now, when I said to you before about opening this up, this doesn't mean anything because now going up and down, you still vertically and horizontally correct. Then you then you set your second model. Now, for demonstration purpose, the second model, what you got to do is you hold it together. Now you have to use a little sticky wax because it gets a little tricky. So you put a little sticky wax on here. You hold it together. Then you, then you bring it down. Now, this is kind of difficult, but anyway, you hold it like this. Before you glue the uh, the the, the female bottom the bottom before you glue on it you set the plate right against it and what you do is you set it, you you just close it, you you lock everything in position after you did that now once it's in place you put your sleeve sorry it's a little sloppy guys but you put your sleeve in place and put some glue on it and then and bring it down it. and close it. And and, and you gotta articulate. Oh. You follow me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, it's a little sloppy the way I did it, but but the, you get the point. You get the point. And that's and, and sure, then you have it. Sure, sure. Yeah, then you have it perfectly articulated according to coins. That's the only uh, face bow that you're able to use on this because again, it's too small. It's too small. It's, it just can't the face bows are but Really yeah, wide. It just doesn't go. It just doesn't go. Because there. the face ball goes to goes into the into the person's ear. Yeah. You know, it does. It just doesn't. The face ball goes into the ear. So you obviously it goes perfect here. Yeah. For the baseball, but look how wide this thing is. Yeah. So it's not meant for that. But it does work for coys, and that's it. That's it. And uh, sure. Sure. And, sure. 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 I think. I, I think. Um, no, it, it is possible. Yes, I can see that. Uh, uh, one can use um, face ball with uh, uh, so articulator, and uh, I really enjoyed this session. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, well, you, yeah, in the last time we met, I, I just um, I remember very well that you you talk about uh, pricing and shipping. This is important for those who may not be around here, and I don't know if you want to talk a little about that so that. Uh, well, pricing we, and shipping. I think the best thing to do is is. Uh, for us and for, for the people in, in your area, is that uh, we need no, we need yeah, we need uh, someone uh, a distributor in in South Africa that would be involved, or uh, you guys could form something, and uh, so this way you don't ship one. You ship one, it's ridiculous. So the shipping will cost more than the articulator. That would be kind of expensive. So instead of doing that, maybe. Everybody could get to get combined, and uh, uh, as far as the pricing goes, I would treat that uh, like a uh, 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 wholesale. So the price becomes extremely different. So instead of the price that we sell at one ninety seven, 
It'll be we'll drop it down. Uh, uh, I think I think the wholesale is about one eighteen. So the price is a big difference. There's a big difference. And all the rest of so the my ticket. For oh, I'm sorry. All okay. the all the rest of the components are the same way. You still it's uh, what we do is we wholesale it uh, to, to, to to everybody. And this way will be a little more attractive. Great. Uh, please, uh, I want to know the the mean of uh, your. Uh, 50 students now, dental students who are taking, and um, I would like to suggest to the management if we can uh, take uh, some uh, for use. Uh, can we get 10 at the time? 10. So that uh, we get it at uh, wholesale price and then... Um... Yes. You can get 10. Yeah, yeah, no, we, uh, of course, uh, you guys, it's going to be a quantity. What is asking you? Yeah, no, ten is fine. Ten is fine, but you know, the the, the you also usually buys a little more. But for a school, you do that. Yeah, ten is fine. Uh, it's just the shipping that that, that I I yeah, the, we don't yeah we don't control that. We can't control that. But they the can tell us the method they want us to ship. It. Yeah, of course. You know, you guys give actually actually Bruno will explain that a lot better because he's into that for part of the field. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not all that familiar, but he could explain it to you. Yeah, whatever shipping or means that you want to use in shipping, there's ways of shipping. Uh, we have FedEx, UPS, DHL, you know, or maybe sometimes I know that a lot of African people that I know, friends of mine, whom I go to church with, they uh, have ways that ship stuff. I happen to have a very, very good friends from Nigeria that they do business in Nigeria with uh, excavating equipment. They buy used excavating equipment here for construction and they bring it to Nigeria. These are brothers in Christ of mine. They're very good friends of mine. I can talk to them if they want to bring a package of 10 to you guys. If you guys are in Nigeria, that's the best way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that's not a bad idea, but I didn't think about that one. Yeah, and I just remembered. And yeah, is that they, possible? Yeah, they, they, they go all the time. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, um, then, then, then to set this process in motion, I think um, it would be important for us to have some details. Me, uh, Enzo can email me about these details. Yes. Um, because I understand that shipping is a lot costly, but with the suggestion you've just given, I know the cost is going to go what? down. Uh, yeah. and in that case, I, I would like um, more details about how those Nigerians could be of okay, help so that uh, we can get this ship to Nigeria. We are interested in getting this articulator into Nigeria so that we can begin to discuss okay. and see the, the versatility of it with the student. Okay, let me ask you this. If, if my friends can do this, that they can carry uh, 10, 20 of these, right to you guys and ship it when they ship their equipment to nigeria um, i will put you in touch with them because you guys speak the language even your own native languages um, uh, that you guys can understand each other better and these are very good people friends of mine oh you know what i also do besides that is we're going to put the, uh uh, I'll have a, a, a package, uh, I'll email you uh, a price uh, in case that doesn't work out. I'll, I will give you a price using the, the least expensive way to ship it to South Africa, and okay. I'll break it down on 10 articulators and 20 articulators, and I'll stop there. Then if it gets, uh, if you guys want more, that's a different, but anyway, I'll break it all down, and I'll tell you exactly how much it costs, I'll tell you exactly what... Uh, and besides the articulated, you would want the sleeves, the, sleeves, the plastic sleeves. So let's say for our they come, they come in packs sure. of a hundred. Yeah, they come in, in packs in bags of a hundred each. So what I'll do is I'll put a price together on uh, let's say five bags of disposables, uh, ten articulators, and I'll, I'll uh, we'll have a way to bring it to the post office. I'll know exactly how much it weighs. You guys got to email me exactly an address 
that it would be or a city or town where where it would be so that so at least I have that to tell the 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 DHL whoever I'm going to use the post office uh, where it's going to be shipped to because they're going to want to know that that's how they ju that's how they judge the price you know that's how they get the yeah, price yeah so we do that and I'll give you the price on, on uh, uh, 10 and 20 uh, pieces uh, 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 articulators and uh, and you got you'll have a very good idea of what's going to cost you you'll have exactly what's going to cost you sure sure uh, I think this is fantastic and um, I am happy and um, I believe that uh, if you send the details we'll begin to examine it and talk to some of our friends in Africa and see how we can get it uh, now this is fantastic and I thank you Okay, listen, one thing is, I, and I, this is my experience, this is one articulator that needs to be demonstrated. If you're gonna want it, someone to use it, you're gonna want to learn how to use it first. Because if you just pass it on, if you take this articulator and you give it to somebody, it's okay, try it out, see how it works. You're not gonna get uh, much out of that. Uh, demonstration. Well, what's the, the, the saying is uh, uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. A demonstration is worth a thousand pictures. <laughs> That's right. Sure. So it's, yeah, uh, yes. I, I think you've taken us through this. You've taken us through the demonstration. Any dental technician technologies should be able to grasp what you have said so far. Oh, yeah, you, and if we get it around, we should be able to help those who use it. Yeah. It's not difficult. I mean, you see the way I use it, the way Bruno uses it. It's not difficult. I use it every day. I use it every day in my lab. Uh, yeah. Hello. I, Hello. 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 So, let me ask. We wouldn't mind if you can come up with a short video of the demonstration and then send it to your mail so that you can always relate to that. The, the, video, the video is... Uh, on the website that uh, Eric, our, yeah, our, yeah. our IT guy, is, is giving you guys. I'll send it to Ebony. Okay. okay, you can always share that with us on the platform so that we have it safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right now. yeah, there is a video that you can access and show it, and as you have the article in your hands, you can refer back to, to for your own first times when you start using it. Uh, all right, that's, that's perfect. That's also, good... on my website, on my website, you have a lot of videos that give you, yeah, tutorials that has detailed instructions of what we did and better than what we did. I mean, you, you're definitely going to get it, but you have to take, <laughs> like, everything that you do, everything that you purchase, there's always some a, a learning curve. You have to have patience, and it will definitely work for you. It definitely works, and it's a time saver. Sure. It's a great Educational piece, absolutely great. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I've got the link that has been sent to me by Mr. Eric. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. I'm sending another one. There's one that has just videos specifically. The first one I just sent you has everything included where you can actually purchase the articulators and look at the videos. But I'm going to send you the enzoarticulator.info. There's a couple more videos on there that uh, are informational. I'm going to send that to you okay. right now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. My pleasure, guys. Uh, I really good. appreciate your effort so putting this together. Thank you. Okay. I'm looking forward to get some uh, over to you guys, and I hope you enjoy them. I hope you get to work with them. The articulators are coming with Enzo to Nigeria. Don't worry. Yeah, well, I'll come with that person. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. If I come yeah, with I that to yeah. demonstrate, you better have at least a bottle of wine for me. Sure. I will be glad to come around. He will be mentoring the school and training all the all the new students that want to become dental technicians. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. That's going to be a legendary visit. I'm enjoying, <laughs> I'm enjoying him on the trip. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is a great session. <laughs> uh, this is a great session. We enjoy you. Uh, we thank you for this and uh, we appreciate uh, You yeah. don't know the presentation. And I know the link will be available to this uh, video, the, the, the presentation you made today. And Delta Technology Africa will be able to share the link and uh, be able to view it. Those who are not uh, those who are not here today will be able to benefit from it. 
uh, we have about uh, 250 uh, data technologies that are our members and uh, they will be ready to look at this video. Uh, we will be able to talk to them also about the importance uh, apart from what we see in the video. Uh, we we'll look for them uh, to, to, to further a better relationship with ESO and ESO Articulator. Thank you so much. Thank you for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye bye. What's up, bye. Bye bye, everybody. All right. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, yeah, bye bye. Cheers. Bye. Okay, hold on. I'm going to end. Uh, let me make sure. Give me a second. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, what we're going to do now, Enzo, you're going to look at the bottom right of your screen. It's going to say leave meeting. You see that? End meeting. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Up there. And I'll, I'll call you. End uh, meeting for all. Yeah, that's End it. End meeting for all. That is